What's up Grip Nation, it's Ian here from Grip Mat, and today we're gonna go head over to Rocco's Garage where he's gonna teach us how to safely lift a car. Whether you have a unibody or a standard car, he's gonna show us how to safely lift it so uh, when you're under there working on the car, you can rest assured that it's safe and up and nothing's gonna happen. So let's head over there, check it out, and uh, see what he has to say. Hey guys, Rocco here. Today we're going to talk about how to lift your vehicle safely and properly and there's a few different ways we can do this. I got some uh, things behind me here. We got the uh, floor jack and jack stands. I got my quick jack which is pretty awesome. And I got some ride on ramps in case you got to get under your vehicle but don't necessarily need to take the wheels off. So let's jump right in and get to it. Alright, let's take this back off the ramps. Alright, so we got the uh, ramps out of the way. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to lift the vehicle using the jack and uh, safety jack stands. This is a pretty heavy duty jack. If you guys do a lot of work on your vehicle, it's definitely uh, something you should have in your shop or your garage because it makes lifting the vehicle that much safer and easier. So there's a couple of different ways to lift your vehicle and uh, you should always check your owner's manual. But uh, we're gonna start with my truck here. So I have a frame on my truck. So this is the body right here. This is the, uh, the pinch weld of the body. This is uh, one of the stronger points of the vehicle, but for a pickup truck or for a full-size truck or like an older Crown Vic where you have a, a solid steel frame, this is where we're going to be lifting from because it's nice and solid. It won't bend or uh, compromise the integrity of the vehicle when you put it in the air with the jack and the jack stands. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and lift the, uh, the front right tire off the ground and we'll go ahead and slip the floor jack underneath. I have this pad right here, which is uh, pretty awesome. It's uh, squishy and hard at the same time. Protects the floor jack, protects the vehicle, and uh, helps prevent the jack from slipping off the metal frame. So, I have to find a good spot right around the passenger door here to get it to lift up. And we'll go ahead and get the jack set like that. And we'll start lifting. As soon as we get that front tire off the ground, we can go ahead and place the floor jack here. So, see if you guys are really doing this here. So, the frame is straight and then it starts to curve right here. So, I like to stay right where it's nice and straight and you can see where the grooves are on the uh, safety jack stand. I try and keep this in the middle as best as I can and then we're going to go ahead and slowly lower the vehicle onto the safety jack stand. And we got it lowered. I'll go ahead and remove the floor jack all the way and now I am solely on the uh, safety jack stand with the front tire off the ground. So this works great if you just need to work on one tire at a time or if you're trying to lift the whole vehicle now we can come around to this side and we'll go ahead and lift the vehicle back here. Alrighty, so we got both tires off the ground. The jack, even though it's back here I lift it up over here too, that's okay. On a frame like this, that's all right, it's gonna happen. So now that we have everything positioned, we'll slowly lower the floor jack onto the safety jack stands. Let's get that one to fit a little bit better. Passenger side lifted. I promise you that's off the ground. And then you would do the same exact thing for the driver's side. And then you'll have all four wheels off the ground. So now that we have the front tire chalked for safety, as you can see, all the way down there in the front, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna lift the back half of the car from the differential. So we're gonna go ahead and position the front back right here. the middle. There we go. Now doing this makes it a little easier to lift the rear wheels because you don't have to deal with the suspension sagging 
down while the rest of the car goes up. You can see the back tires come off the ground really quickly and easily. Alrighty. And then what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and get these safety jack stands positions. So we're going to get these positioned where we need them. There's one. We'll get the second one over here. What's nice about the rear end is it, uh, it cradles the safety jack stand really well. So now that we have the uh, safety jack stands positioned where we need them to be, underneath the axles, we'll go ahead and slowly lower this. Get the rear wheels off the ground, and the back half of the vehicle is secured up in the air. So there's lots of different of different cars, like my truck, that Pathfinder, and this Mercury. They all have frames. But this car right here is unibody. So this vehicle is a little different from my truck because we don't have a frame. This is a unibody you see underneath here. There's lots of things here. So you don't want to... This is the, the floorboard of the car. This is very thin. You don't want to put your jack on this or you'll just bend the floor of the vehicle. What you want to do is you want to go on these uh, this pinch weld right here. This is where the vehicle is nice and strong. And this is where you can safely jack. See these edges right here? This is where I usually like to jack and put the safety jack stands. So what we're going to do is we're going to lift the whole right side of this vehicle up at the same time. And then we're going to put one safety jack stand in the rear and one in the front. That way we get both the right side tires off the ground. So we're going to go ahead and go and lift the right side of this unibody vehicle. And we're going to go ahead and place the floor jack about center. I like to put it underneath the driver's or passenger side door handle since the vehicle is a little front heavy. So we'll go ahead and position this right underneath the punch wheel. Right here. And I like to use these little um, rubber bricks because they have the groove that fits inside the pinch weld. Now if you don't have one of these you can get them on like Amazon or any local parts store might carry them and if you don't have one you can use a block of wood but this right here works very well for me because it keeps the jack exactly where it needs to be so we'll go ahead and jack this up and get the, uh, the right wheels off the ground here so with the rear wheels off the ground we can go ahead and position these floor jacks exactly where we need them get them nice and high up so you sound that position right there, and we'll move out to the front over here. And now we can go ahead and lower the vehicle onto these uh, safety jack stands. And with the vehicle on the jack stands, we can go ahead and remove the floor jack. And we have the whole right side of the vehicle off the ground. And if you have two more jack stands, you can do the exact same thing to the other side and get all four wheels off the ground. Just remember when you're lifting, don't lift from here. If you needed to put a jack stand here, you can see where the metal gets stronger, where it's reinforced. So there's metal here that's overlapping. See where it's nice and strong over here. This is an area that's a little bit reinforced. If you wanted to put a safety jack stand right here, you could. But I like to stick to the, um, the pinch welds. It is uh, very strong, it's very safe. And if you're ever in doubt, always check your owner's manual and see where the manufacturer wants you to lift from. So whether you're doing this on a unibody, or a framed vehicle, the jack points are very similar. You're going to want to look for, put these pads right here. You want to make good contact with either the frame or with the pinch weld. And we're going to go ahead and get this set up right now. So you get the first one positioned as parallel as you can get it. You want to make sure that the quick jack is uh, parallel with the wheels 
um, not like cocked sideways. That way when it lifts up, it lifts evenly. So now that this one's set up, we're gonna set the other one up. And what I usually do is I'll use my trick right here is, see that hole? This hole right here? I'll try and line it up with the one over there on that side, right there. That gives me a good idea that these are lined up in the same spot. So let's go over to the other side and get that lined up. So if you're using the quick jack and you're new to it, it's a pretty awesome tool. We have these uh, quick releases for the hydraulic lines. So all you gotta do is just push in and they lock in place. And now that we have the hydraulic lines hooked up, we're gonna go ahead and get the left side lined up. Alright. So we got the lines hooked up. You got the rubber stoppers here lined up with the, either the frame or the pinch welds in the front and the rear. We got the hydraulic lines hooked up to the hydraulic pump right here. Now we're going to go ahead and hook the power pack up. So I got my, got my jump pack here. I'm going to go negative to negative, positive to positive. And I already have my quick jack lined up. Push and hold up. As you can see, right where we need to be. Same thing on that side. And we're going to go to the second lock. All right, stop. Now push down. Now we're on the second locks all the way. We are no longer on hydraulic tension. And this vehicle is secured in the air. As you can see, my tires were off the ground. Just a couple inches in the back. Much more in the front because of the suspension travel. Uh, if you have the adapters, you can definitely uh, put the SUV adapters and get more clearance if you need to. But now the vehicle is secure off the ground. So you can do any work you need to do. These things are becoming more popular. They're in Costco. I think Walmart sells them too now online. So if you're a car enthusiast and you really want to lift your vehicle up and uh, do your own work, I highly recommend one of these things. They're pricey, but um, they're safe and they're worth it. And with the locks released, it comes down rather quickly. And you're good to go. Fun stuff. Hope you guys enjoyed it. So as you can see, lifting a car is not that difficult, but doing it safely is super important to a safe and sound job, no matter what you're doing on your car. So I hope that helped you. And if you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe because we're coming at you with weekly videos like this uh, to learn more about how to work on your car at home. So can't wait to see you next week and uh, have fun.